Well, I was invited here to Gloria Samson's home and um, she wanted one of my cookbooks. So this is Margaret from Margaret's Kitchen, NM, AKA Gloria Samson's Kitchen. And she's making tamales so she had asked for a cookbook. And so I told her I would bring it to her. So we were talking because she was making tamales and all her stuff is ready, but she was, had a question about her masa. So I'm gonna teach you how to make the masa. So here's an empty bandeja. And so the first thing I'm gonna do first is, yeah. The first thing I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get the, and I, I just put my hands in here. So I'm just doing the manteca and I'm just putting my hands in her, in her, in her. Oh, es familia, I can do that, right? And I washed <laughs> really well. So anyways, and it's gonna be one whole bag. So I think this is a five pound bag. So this is, if you think about it, this is like two cups of the lard. So what I do is I'm gonna do this to the lard and I'm gonna play with the lard. And you're just gonna play with it and play with it and you're just kind of mixing it because you wanna soften it. And so this is what I do. Does everybody do this? I don't know, but this is what I do. And you just play with it, see? Just play with it just to soften it. I have found that when you're playing with it and you're softening it, it's the like the best thing to do. And almost, it almost looks like whipped cream. Like whipped cream, yeah, mm -hmm. you know? And so anyway, so that's all, you, you're gonna just do this for a little bit. And then at the same time, you know, and it is, it's heavy. You wouldn't think that doing the lard like this is, is heavy, but let me tell you, you get your workout. You get your workout. And you're just kind of whipping it. You can do it in your, you know, she has a uh, KitchenAid, but I told her, let's do it by hand because not everybody has a KitchenAid, Griffa. See. So I just play with it. And just to, you just kind of breaking it up and you look, it's just become silky, almost like, like a lotion. And some people that I've seen do this and they'll do it like for like for like 30 minutes. And I said, and there's a little difference, but not much. But I just like to kind of break it up. Asina cuando lo haces así, you um you don't get like little chunks. Oh, so you're just okay. like breaking it up, breaking the the lard up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your liquid from your carne. Okay, so I'm just doing it like this. And then what I'm gonna do is, it's just a handful of salt. And so, so that's about a tablespoon or so of salt, right? Am I a terrible teacher right now? I am, but I'm showing you because like this, because this is how I do it. So that's how I was showing Gloria. So here's the baking powder. The family tradition way. Yeah, <laughs> the estoy enseñando the family way. So anyways, I just put it in here. And you just want to break it all up. Isn't that kind of neat? Mm -hmm. See, and you, and then what happens is that everything gets mixed in here, really, really well. And you're like me; I like making tamales. Tamales are my favorite thing to make. You know, I really make tamales more than I do pescochitos. Okay, see, and look, just nice and smooth. Just real nice and smooth, okay. Now, I'm gonna clean my hand, just bang it on the, now you'll see me bang my fingers like this on the pan, but you'll never catch me banging my spoons or anything on my pans. It was a pet peeve of my dad's. Dad hated when we, uh, when we did that. I'm just opening up the maseca, and she has maseca. It's the the yellow and green one, and so there's different variations. Honestly, I don't find a difference in the brands. I really just don't. Um, I've never bought a no-name brand. I as well. I've never seen a no-name brand. I've always seen the maseca, and, and so it's always been the one that I bought. And so, is that okay. the one you always get? Mm-hmm. And the nice part is it's gluten-free. So you put this in here. 
And I put it all because it's enough to make it all. And you'll use it all. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to mix it in here a little bit. See? It's kind of, it's nice to, to actually do something in someone else's kitchen and somebody's actually videotaping me. I told my amiga, le dije, okay, you got to videotape me. I'll do this, but you got to videotape. That way it's kind of a you know, people can see how I'm doing the, just the masa, nothing else. And your water, when you're using this, the broth from your meat should be warm. You know, as warm as possible. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I need the broth now. The broth is warm. Yeah. So I'm going to get the... Can you pause? Yeah, you can pause. How do you pause? Just hit pause. And then... I mean, I'm helping you guys. I created a well in the middle of the of the arena, okay? So that's all I did. So see, look how nice and soft. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, just a regular cup. And then I'm going to fill it. And it's just warm. This is just warm. Yeah, that we all know. Huh? That we all know how warm. Mm -hmm. You know, so never want to do cold water. That's otra cosa. And you put a lot, you know, because it takes a lot. So it looks like there's like too much water here. But if you have thick and noise. So then what you're going to do, see? Look at how it's already starting to, to soak it all in. And there's still a bunch of arena. See there, see how the dry stuff is still in the bottom? It looked like there was so much water and there's not, there's not a lot of broth. So see, look. Okay. See? So that's what I'm going to say. It looked like, oh my God, that's a lot of water. No, it's not a lot of water. It's not at all. So I'm just add. And I don't make it, um, my masa is a soft consistency, but not a, not a, um, a thin consistency, if that makes any sense. See, Margaret's Kitchen in Gloria Sampson's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> See? See, and look at the bottom still has, has arena, and I've been digging through. See? I just put half a cup more. And that should almost be enough, I think. And this right here, depending how big you make your tamales, you should have enough for about five, six dozen right here. Really? Yeah, it just depends how big you make your tamales. If you make little miniature ones, you can have a lot of tamales. But I don't know how to make miniatures, so. I can't see, I didn't think I got that many. I just got my little bags. Yeah. Of the, of the corn husk. Yeah. And you know, it just all depends. See, can I, can I freeze it? it? Yes, I have of leftovers. course you can. See how there's still flour down here that's not even wet because it takes a lot of liquid. See? Oh, mira, yeah. I, I look, mira. Oh, wow. And I've been digging to the bottom, see? See how pretty? I love my masa, see? And I always wet my fingers when I'm doing, when I'm spreading it onto the, onto the husk. Oh, that's a good idea. I always do. That way do. it keeps it moist. Yeah. Verdad? Look, see, there's still some right here. Mira. See. Oh. So I just I do a little bit more of this. 
And she had a coffee cup. So see, an army, uh, cup. an army coffee cup. You know, I was telling her, my mom never used a measuring cup. She just got a coffee cup. Uh, we need a cup of sugar. When do I stay in coffee cup? Cara del café. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. My grandma would say that too. It takes a cup of sugar. Oh, well, do you have a measuring cup? See, I stay in a taza para el café. That's a cup. That's so true. Yeah. Okay, see, now... I'm pulling it from the bottom. Oh, look how, yeah. See, and it's just a pretty masa. I like my masa, Sina. And mine comes, when I do it, it's very kind of in between, like a tortilla. Ah, you're, you're not enough liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, boy. And so she was asking me for some tips, so le dije, are you ready to make them? And I'll, I'll show you how to make the masa in a vez. <laughs> so here I'm le enseñe. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Gracias, gracias, gracias. <laughs> you are very welcome. Oh, and I love the smell of the maize. Sounds of good. The, yes, of the harina. And then you could tell that you made your, your meat perfect because you can smell already like the tomale you know smell that's what i'm smelling I can you probably smell it now yeah. can you yeah. yeah and um so see that's and that this is probably about <clears throat> i'm gonna say i bet you anything it's about a less than half a gallon of water really? to a bag that's a lot of water because yeah. if you remember the pan was half full in mira ya está yeah. it's almost gone yeah so you know you have almost pretty you like it? Mm -hmm. See, look. Almost looks like a like an oatmeal. Yeah, but a th yes, a, a thick, thick oatmeal. oatmeal. Yes, exactly. And so, anyway, see, me that's not oh, I'll show you how to do that part. You know this? You want me to pass? Yeah. Okay. So now, she just gave me the an oja, and so I'm just gonna put this on here, and this is what we do. I'm gonna stick my hand in this water. And we use our hands. That's what my mom always did. You take that, that. That's how we used to do it. Mm -hmm. And we just spread it. I was seeing a lady the other day. And usually, like I said, usually I get my, wet my fingers to just spread it. Let me um, take some of this off because then it's going to be sticky to where I can't spread it the way I want to. <laughs> <laughs> The masa that's good for it. Mm -hmm. Just put it in here. See? Oh, okay. So that's all I do. You know, and that's why I use the the water, you know, to wet my fingers. So usually, so this is like the perfect size, and I'm just showing her this. You know, she may or may not do it exactly this big or whatnot, but that's all you do. See, just perfect. I've seen people go all the way back to the tail. I don't. Usually I come up a little bit further up like this. And that's it. And then I put my meat here. And then what I do is I'll fold once. And I'm just doing this because we're going to just take it apart. And then I fold up. And oh. then I fold this way. And then I do the same thing to, to cover it. My mother always taught us to cover the tops. You know, to do the same thing you saw me do here. But with just a plain oja. And then you cook them. Some people keep it like this and then they stand them up. My mother always taught us to lay them down, but we doubled wrapped them. So that's how it is. Oh, okay. So, you know, of course it's flat work, you know, no hay carne ni nada. But anyway, so that's, and then when you take it off, and always remember that the rough oh, that side, okay. you can feel the rough side goes in the inside. And then this is the soft part, mira. See, oh, okay. so there is a difference. So, anyways, and that's it. Here's my class for today. Thank Yay. you. So Don't forget much. be nice, and you know what? Go out there and make it a great day. Don't forget to do your squats, and don't forget just to be nice and follow Jesus. Don't forget, without Him, we're nothing. Bye. Thank, Thank you, Gloria, for having me. <laughs> Thank you.